the newest character in Smash came out today. It was uh, Seth Roth, or however you say it, the guy with the big sword from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, they they did a little like you know how Sakurai does those trailers. He shows them off what they have, their moves, as the challenge mode. And then I think the character comes out on the twenty second. But there's like a little challenge you can do, and if you beat it, I think on uh, very hard mode, then you can unlock Seth Roth. You can play them. And, uh, you know, I did, because I'm a gamer. If you're having troubles with that, just use, like, uh, like Ike Suicide or, like, Meek, uh, Brawler Suicide or something. Something that'll just kill him instantly, kill uh, uh, them after. It's super easy. And uh, he's not too hard to unlock. And uh, let's just go over how good the character may or may not be, because I uh, I don't really know. There's a They have a lot of really good things and a lot of okay things and I'd, i i, I want to go over their their strong suits like i'm just gonna go over their basic moves right away what i think of the moves and then uh what they're good at what they're bad at etc etc uh the first thing i want to talk about is you know the smash attacks uh they're all super strong or super weak so the way uh all of his sword moves work so i guess kind of all of them is there's like a sour spot a sweet spot and then a like a sweeter -er spot and I'm not sure where they are yet, but I'm pretty sure it's strongest, like, kind of, like, in the middle of the sword. And then on the edge of the sword, it's, like, second strongest, and then, like, right at the hilt, it's not super strong. But it's, like, because sometimes F-Smash will kill it, like, at the ledge at, like, 50 or 70, like, between then. And then sometimes it won't kill at the ledge at, like, 90 to 100. It, it just really depends. But when, when you hit those sweet spots, he hits, like, a gosh dang truck, I'll tell you that. Uh, down Smash breaks shields. Like, it's probably, it's, it's like Violet Down Smash-esque damage, except it is a lot quicker, but still, like, really bad cooldown, so it's, it's definitely a move you're gonna wanna hit their shield, and you're gonna wanna, wanna try to, try to, you know, uh, gank them, if you will. Now, Up Smash is, uh, biggest Up Smash in the game. I think Sakurai's just trying to one-up himself over and over again. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, pff, who's last DLC? Violet? They have, that's really big Up Smash, that's good. Ooh, I, Min Min? Yeah, give him a bigger one. Steve? Nah, his should be way bigger. Oh, this... Uh, Seth Roth? Yeah, just just give him, like, three platforms. Like, he can almost cover the top platform on Battlefield. Like, a little more range, and he, he's got it. Like, if you get if you get stuck under a platform and he charges that up smash, you're probably just gonna die. And it is insanely massive. But also, like, when he hit that sweet spot, it's killing at, like, 80, it's killing at 90, it's killing super early. Another thing this character has, which is really good, is super easy shield breaks. So if you hit their side B, you can charge it up, up to like these little balls will uh, happen if you hit it. And you can have up to five balls, and the only way to get rid of them is to either reflect, air dodge, shield, or uh, you know, just tank them. And if you shield and all five balls hit, and then you get hit by like an F tilt and, or an F smash, or like a dash attack, your shield is broken. Like it's, 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 not, it's not coming back. Another way you can break shields is with his uh, his neutral B, which like takes forever to charge up. But if you can get it to charge up fully, it destroys shields. And then once you break their shield, you can just you know kill them at like four because you can do that charge again, and it kills at like thirty. And then you can throw an F smash in there. The character, if you can get those shield break setups, which I think is actually going to be very big for them, that shield pressure, like maybe getting like those down smash reads into like killing them at like fifty consistently, that's going to be insanely broken. But uh, it is it is fairly risky, so you got to be careful about it. Uh, going into their tilts, nothing super exceptional. Uh, four tilt's actually pretty decent. Uh, it's fairly fast, uh, pretty strong actually. You can kill like at ninety if you get that sweet spot. Remember, sweet spots are very important. You get you get that ninety percent sweet spot, super huge. Down tilt's kind of like cloud uh, Mega Man down tilt. Nothing special, nothing terrible. Just good for low profiling. And uh, let's see, let's see, slide under pops him up, which is very good for juggling. Uh, with his massive up air, but uh, we'll get in that later. Uh, up tilts is just big, like it's it's like kind of like hero up smash, except there is a scoop hitbox and it does kill. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I wouldn't like use it as a shield or in general, but if someone's like right above you, you want to poke, you don't want to like commit all the way to an F sm or up smash because that thing is laggy as hell. Yeah, you just do one of those and then you're you're good to go. Uh, Sephiroth's aerials, they're all huge, and they're all very committal, except for his nair, which is insane. I think his nair or his up air, his back air, are his best aerials, because that nair, it's super quick, it combos into his forward air, it combos into his back air, his back air is an insanely strong kill move with insane reach. Uh, his up air is like, 
literally the whole platform again. It's like up, it's like his up smash in the air. Like you look at it and it's it's disgusting. Like that, I it's not even close. It's by far the biggest aerial in the game, and it's not even like a contestable thing. Like I wouldn't even know what comes close. It's insanely huge. So that's super good for juggling. But if you hit that weak spot of it, it's not too great. It does like a little bit of damage. But if you're hitting that strong spot consistently, like you you reach up there, you jump off a platform, you can kill someone at like seventy with that strong spot. So if you're hitting strong spot with Sephiroth, he's like easily out of his mind, insane. If you're always hitting the weak spot, he's not. Uh, final thing I want to talk about his specials. Uh, they're they're okay. Uh, his side B, like I said, has the shield break potential, but it's also fairly hard to hit if people just shield. It's kind of like a Joker side B, except a lot worse because it's just slower and more like charge up time. It's not instant. Uh, if you can get all three, then it's better. You don't have to like charge. You can just do one. But then like you know, it's if you get okay. I will say if you do get all three though, even if you get two or even one, they do a ton of damage and they do kill. Don't know why they do that, but uh, they do. His neutral B is like a charge up attack, which the the first one is okay. It doesn't kill. Like I got hit by it. I was like testing a uh, Mario just to see how he would do against him. And I got hit at like 180 on the edge, and I didn't die. So uh, not too worried about that. The blue one kills insanely early. And another one that kills insanely early, uh, this final charge up, uh, that kills at like 30. Like, it's broken, and it does like almost all your shield damage. Because you can get an F-Smash in there, so you can do uh, the fully charge. If it hits their shield, they're dead because you F-Smash, then just fully charge again. It is out of out of control wacko. Uh, the final special I'm going to want to talk about with him is going to be his up special, which is very interesting. It's kind of like a uh, like fox-esque range, I think, for how far it goes. I'm not... Uh, actually, no. Uh, what's a good comparison for how far it goes? It's like a, it's like a medium. Not too bad. Not too good. Uh, like Kind of like Steve's recovery, uh, except without the insane gliding. But it does have what is the most insane up hitbox in the game, and there's no move that can contest it besides uh, his up smash, or his F smash. It is insanely broken, that move. How, how like, big the hitbox is, and it's like, it repeats, and it's just, it's crazy. Now, oh, sorry, I'm eating a, um, I'm eating Timbit cereal. Now, one bad thing about it, though, is if you do charge it up even a little, then you're not going to be able to grab the ledge. So, like, moves like his, uh, just like in the Ditto, for example, his neutral B, they're going to be able to catch you, and they're going to kill you super early. And your recovery isn't the best horizontal, or, uh, yeah. Your recovery isn't the best at getting back to stage from the sideways length, because I'm, I'm blanking right now. I'm a little tired. So you're going to want to be careful there. You're only going to want to charge it if you need to get super far. You're trying to poke them. But besides that, you're just going to want to do the normal distance. It's not too much further when you charge it, and the normal distance is uh, pretty good. Uh, final, I think, uh, special item thing is a counter. Uh, it's just a counter, but it is a good... I will say it is one of the better counters. Uh, the hitbox for it is massive. Even if you miss the counter, it does like a little attack that does like 10% of it hits. Obviously super laggy, super committal. But uh, it's better than like... The risk-reward for it is better than all other counters, because if you miss, it doesn't mean you're going to get instantly punished. You might have a chance of it. You know, sneaking that little hit in there. Which is, hey, that, that's always nice, especially when you just messed up. Uh, the only move I don't think I covered is dash attack, but his dash attack isn't good. It, like, it's just not a good move. It's strong, and that's great, but uh, it's not, nothing nothing exceptional. Uh, now that we've gone over his moves, uh, there's a couple more like special things that he has to himself that I want to say, and then I'll say how good the character is and their flaws. So, basically, what Sephiroth has that is super cool is when he gets to about uh, between 80 and 70%, or I think if he's been in disadvantage for a long time, I'm not quite too sure how it works yet. But basically, he gets wings, so he moves faster. I think his, I don't know if his moves are quicker, or if he hits harder, it's one of those. And he gets a third jump. And for a character with an up air like he has, and with a just a nair like he has, which you can just like spam that nair in the air which is very good it is obscene because you just shouldn't be able to do that that doesn't seem legal right and the answer is because it's not legal it's like it's every dlc's got to have their gimmick and this this is his gimmick that makes it uh very very good uh it's just super like it's kind of like a get out of jail free card because people will forget you have it if they're not playing in Sephiroth all the whole time now it is day one obviously so people aren't used to it and they're also not used to using it but uh, it's very good. Just just know. It's very good. It's, it's kind of like, I think Cloud uh, had in Smash 4. It's like his, not his limit, 
I guess, yeah, I just guess passive Cloud Limit, he was just stronger and faster. So it's like that, except now he has a triple jump, which is, you know, good. He also has, uh, you know, a super armor in his smash attacks when he has this on, which is like, yeah, little max sword triple jump, which is fine. Uh, it's not, by the way. But when he, I think, kills someone, I think it, it goes away. So it's like, it's not too overbroken, doesn't stay with you until you die. So if you kill someone, it's going to go away, which is like, thank God. Or else his character would be uh, Lucario uh, and Little Mac on crack with a stabby. It just, it wouldn't be fun. Um, a flaw I think the character has is speed. They are not slow. They feel kind of clunky. Their movement is, it's okay. Like, you can't, you can't run up dash attack. Your grabs, you don't really have anything off of the grab at, like, plus, like, 0%. And even then, it's not super true. So, like, his grabs aren't reliable. You don't have any dashing options. Your projectiles are slow as dumb. Like, there's not not much you can do to get in. And once someone else gets in, it's very hard to get them out. But I think he's going to really shine when, like, if he hits that nair, if he hits that up air. Like, juggling people is going to be super annoying. Uh, outspacing people is going to be good. Just tapping their shield, running away. Maybe, like, shooting a projectile, even though it's not great. Uh, jumping away, up airing. Uh, it's like, I don't know, like a random shield breaker attempt. I think... This is by far the character with the most like viable shield break attempts besides like old snake. And even even then, I don't know what characters like you don't see any you don't see anyone getting shield breaks really, to be honest. Like maybe Bowser sometimes with his uh shield break move. But besides that, no one's no one's really getting hit by it. But this guy has like, like three moves that actually lead into shield break. So instead of having combos, he have he has shield breakers. And I think I I think that's that's pretty cool. I'm, I like to see how that, you know, plays out now you can't just spam him or you're gonna get ganked because of how slow he is and his recovery is pretty messable if you hit him before he does it now there's no contesting it once he's in it but if you hit him before he does it uh then that's good you can also uh two frame him or no you can't two frame him but he's not gonna be able to grab the ledge so sephiroth's are gonna have to be good at spacing their recovery good to still get the hitbox but still grab the ledge kind of like how terry players uh do it but uh, if they if they mess that up, they're going to be in trouble big time because he is a fairly slow faller as well. So you'll be able to just hit him with a down smash, hit him with some cheeky a dash attack maybe. And then I'll be off stage where I can tell you right now that is not his favorite. Uh, problem he does have is combo moves. He has one. And even then, it doesn't work like past 50%. So you're just going to be going a lot of stray hints. Now it's okay because his, his range is half the stage. But it is uh, it is unfortunate because you know having that nice little combo is always always a dandy thing you know. Uh, that's really all I have to say about the character. I think that they are either mid high tier or mid tier. Now, because usually I'm super hype about DLC characters. I thought Byleth was gonna be uh, top tier. Min Min is top tier. I thought Steve was insane. And I still don't know why people don't think he is, but I get it now. I guess I don't know. I, I just maybe it's because I, I wanted him to be insane, but I don't really I don't really see it for Sephiroth. I think they're too slow, and I think the lack of combos and just being able to get bullied and getting out of disadvantage being pretty difficult. I just don't I just don't see it. You know, I think they're more of a gimmick with the shield break, with the side B, just trying to like catch people off guard. And when you catch them off guard, you're going to do extremely well. But if you can't, then you're not going to do as well. So yeah, I think Sephiroth, uh, maybe mid high tier, like like bottom or top high tier. I think at max, like he's not better than Roy, he's not better than Crom, he's not better than Lucina. Uh, I'd say he's better than Byleth, maybe about the same, if not worse, little worse than Corrin. Like just like compared to other sorties, so he's kind of like he's kind of a middleman. Uh, but he is cool. he is cool. He has some cool things, and I think uh, I think he's trying. He's really fun. Do that little challenge. It's not too difficult. And I think that's really all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Uh, go try the character. He's really fun. And that's, uh, yeah. Have a lovely, like, day, evening, night, whatever whatever time it is. Just make sure you're having a, a good time, you know? Uh, that's all, and bye-bye. Uh,